fun to watch. Let's go back now to Washington and our main news and Donald Trump pulling the U.S. out of the Iran nuclear deal. To discuss this, we're joined by John Turney, the executive director of the Center for Arms Control and Non-Proliferation. Mr. Turney, thank you so much for joining us. Is this Iran nuclear deal, in your view, rotten, decaying, horrible, and one-sided, as President Trump describes it? No, that was, uh, his comments were just a display of total ignorance of the agreement and its ramifications. Uh, this agreement was negotiated well. Uh, the only one who didn't seem to think that it was a good agreement and good diplomacy was Donald Trump and some of his minions. Uh, so his pulling out of it was probably going to be one of the historic uh, acts of malfeasance and misfeasance uh, that we've seen in this country in terms of foreign policy. So, Mr. Turney, what's going to happen next? Because uh, President Trump has offered no alternative policy to put in its place. Well, he had no plan B. So, you know, for somebody who wanted to uh, be concerned about whether or not Iran could go and pursue a nuclear weapon, uh, he now has that concern again because what had been stopped by the JCPOA, the agreement, uh, is now wide open again if Iran chooses to go in that direction. So all of the inspections and all of the verification process that have been put in place, uh, Iran could now walk away as well. They have certainly uh, licensed to do that with his pulling out of the agreement on that. Uh, we'll wait to see whether or not they decide to try to stay in with the rest of the participants in the agreement and leave the United States as the outlier, uh, and then what course the president thinks he's going to take if that happens. So what would be your advice to Iran, Mr. Attorney? Should they stay in or should they get out? Well, look, they, they've got politics at home as well, so my hope is that they stay in. Uh, they try to work with the other participants in the agreement, with the, uh, the five members of the Security Council, Permanent Security Council, and Russia and China, uh, and try to make it work from that perspective, and that all of those other parties continue to put pressure on President Trump, getting him to come to his senses and, uh, and reestablish a relationship there. But uh, I don't see any hope for the latter, mm -hmm. uh, but I do hope that you know, Iran might stay in the agreement, despite uh, the fact that he's... Uh, pulled out. So, uh, Mr. Attorney, with uh, the U.S. out of this uh, Iran nuclear deal, will it have any impact uh, on the denuclearization of North Korea? Well, I think it has a, an impact on the negotiations that are going on. If you're North Korea at this point in time, you have tremendous leverage in any uh, negotiations. Your question number one for the United States is, why should we trust you? Uh, under Donald Trump. And I think any uh, diplomat is going to have one terrible time trying to come up with a good answer to that question. So they come in with great leverage, and I think they can put the U.S. on edge in those negotiations, and we'll see whether or not a deal can be reached, in fact, with what probably is a real paucity in trust at this point. Thank you so much for your insights. John Turney joining us from Washington. Now, they may be useful, but wet wipes could themselves be wiped out here in the UK. The British government wants to eliminate plastic waste, including single-use products like, I said, wet wipes. Not only do they cause most sewage blockages, they also contain non-biodegradable plastics, which can end up in our oceans. Well, our science editor, David Shukman, has been to Semarang on the north coast of Java in Indonesia. It is one of the countries that is worst hit by plastic pollution. A journey through the mangrove swamps on the coast of Indonesia. Plastic hangs from the branches and lies trapped in the roots. Indonesia sends huge volumes of plastic into the ocean. Only China releases more. There's so much, it jams our boat's propeller. The problem is that when plastic flows...